Let's talk now, though, uh, to Ave Schleim, Avi Schleim, I should say, Emeritus Fellow of St Anthony's College and former Professor of International Relations. Avi, very good morning to you. Welcome to uh, Talk. Good morning. Thank you for having me on your show. And thank you so much for, for talking to us. We've been watching um, with some alarm over the course of the last few weeks some things that have been developing in America, uh, at UCLA, at Columbia, some of the protests there which have turned pretty horrible and very anti-Semitic, it seems to me. Um, the, the disease, if you like, seems to have spread now to, to Oxford and Cambridge and other universities in Britain. Uh, we've got tents on the ground, I think, both at Oxford and, and Cambridge. What's it like at the moment, Avi, um, to be a professor, uh, to be a Jewish professor, um, at a university where this kind of stuff is going on? I really must begin by disagreeing with your presentation of the student protests. Um, the protests started in America and they set up a wave of student protests that has spread to this country as well. Yes. And there are accusations of anti-Semitism in the encampments in America. President Biden has accused the students of anti-Semitism. But this is important. Um, a group of 750 Jewish students have issued a statement to say that there is no anti-Semitism in the encampments and that the student protests do not pose any threat to uh, uh, the safety of Jewish students. That's the situation in America. Well, that's nonsense, oh, isn't it? That's job. plainly nonsense because we have seen Jewish students being barricaded inside buildings being uh, kept with, uh, against their will from leaving a building. We've also seen buildings being smashed up. We've also seen Jewish professors being prevented from entering buildings in Colombia. Um, so I don't understand why, just because some Jewish students say it's not anti-Semitic, that you would, you would take that as, uh, as read. So I'd like to now talk about Oxford, which I know better, okay. because, because the encampment went up on Monday. Right. I visited the encampment. Uh, it was completely peaceful and orderly. The students were extremely well organized and uh, well prepared. They had um, a tent for the media. They had a tent for uh, a library. They had a study space. And they were, uh, there was a very uh, peaceful, uh, friendly, atmosphere um, and uh, there were there weren't any problems one, and one other point there are a lot of Jewish students uh, in the encampment showing solidarity with the demands of the students and protesting against Israel's actions uh, in Gaza so here in Oxford there isn't any problem there isn't the slightest whiff of anti-semitism uh, uh, and no students no Jewish students are being harassed. Well, we, we spoke, we spoke uh, Avi, to some Jewish students at Oxford yesterday and Cambridge um, who said that they generally now do not wear any Jewish symbols, they generally do not uh, sort of um, show any, uh, any uh, connection to being Jewish when they walk around campus because they fear that it's a bit intimidating. I think it's, the problem is not on the campus. The problem is wider than that. It's national. There's been undoubtedly a spike in anti-Semitic anti manifestations and anti-Semitic um, episodes uh, nationwide. Why? It's because of the Israeli assault on Gaza. There is a direct link between Israel's offensive in Gaza and the increase of anti-Semitic incidents in the country. But this, the campuses are the least affected by anti-Semitism. Uh, well, I think maybe you're not talking to the right people, because if you speak to the Society of Jewish Students, they'll tell you a different story. Um, I think that the government here greatly exaggerates um, anti-Semitism uh, and the government is very biased in favor of Israel. The government is indifferent to Palestinian rights. Well, that's because Israel's a democracy, right? 
and Palestine is not. I can't remember the last time uh, you've w witnessed a, a, an election in Palestine. They haven't had one for quite a long time. Israel is not a democracy. Of course it is. How is it Israel, not a democracy? Israel is an apartheid regime. No, it's not. There are people who live in Israel who are not Jews. How is it an apartheid regime? You're talking absolute nonsense. Are you sure you're even a professor? Uh, I, I am sure. And you need... I know it's early in the morning, but you need to wake up and smell the coffee. Well, can you tell me... All right, well, let me ask you this again. Is it true that Arabs live peacefully and happily in Israel? No. It yes, is it is. True. Oh, it so is, you're denying the truth it, now. It, it is true that um, Palestinian citizens of the State of Israel have the vote. But people in, in No, people who live in Israel are Arabs. They, there are plenty of Arabs who live in Israel, and they have yes. the same rights as anybody who is Jewish. So for you to call it an apartheid state is quite frankly ludicrous. No, it's not. It's absolutely true. It's a factual statement. No, it isn't. Because, because Israel is an occupation. You've just told me two things. I don't, I'm, I'm not sure you're living in the real world, I'm afraid, Avi. You've told me that there is no anti-Semitism on the campus. I've assured you that having spoken to Jewish students, there is. You've now told me that Israel is an apartheid state, which is your opinion, and it's not a fact. No, it's, it is a fact, and you are profoundly misinformed. What is your definition? What is your definition of an apartheid state? Uh, 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 a state in which um, um, there is there are two classes of citizens, um, um, uh, and and which one, two classes one, of citizens the are Jews, there? The Jews are privileged. Now that's not um, true. The think, Arabs in Israel have the same rights as Jewish people. You keep talking about Israel within its three sixty seven borders. I'm talking about Greater Israel, Israel. And, and the occupation. Greater uh, Israel. Israel from the river to the sea. And it's here that Israel is... So you're, 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 so you're, so you're, you're drawing the facts towards your uh, supposition, which is incorrect, which is not the same as talking the truth. So I'm afraid I'm going to end this conversation because it's a complete and utter waste of time. I wish you well, Avi. Um, maybe you should educate yourself a little bit. Go and talk to some Jewish students in the Jewish society and find out what's actually going on on your own doorstep. Never mind telling a load of cobblers about Israel. Thank you very much indeed.